here come up as well. But take a look at this. I'm down on the bottom of it. Wow, look at this rock. Bizarre. Almost looks like it was underwater up to there at one point. It's just sitting right out here in the middle of the woods. All them crevices that water ate away over the years. Interesting. This is out. I was out for a walk. There's the house right there. This is a core. Wow. From the uh, telephone post they just put in. That is something. I wondered what this white thing was glistening over here. Man, I could use that for a decoration. Look at this. I just had to show you guys this. All right, I am about 30 yards from that new plot I'm working on. There's the excavator. All right, and this top here was the old road. The deer still use it. And I just happened to catch the glimpse of this in the woods. I mean, there's some nice rock here and here, but look at this thing. It's a shelf of all rock right here that I'm standing on and it juts out all on its own. Look at that. Look at that. I mean this right here could be a deer stand. A nice flat spot right here. A guy could put a ground blind in. Look at that. I dare someone to stick their arm up in there. Wow, that is cool. I'll show you, I'll, I'll climb down here and show you from the bottom, but it's about, from where I'm standing, it's got to be about a 10 foot drop. A little more, a little less maybe, but look at how cool this is, man. This is just awesome. Cedar tree right there growing in between the rocks. And I'll be hunting 20 yards from this. All right, so now I'm at the base of that thing. Look at how cool it is. I had to walk around, obviously, through a, a gentle spot, which happens to be where deer come up as well. But take a look at this. I'm down on the bottom of it. Man, I'd love to see like a uh, dinosaur skull sticking out of there or something. Yeah, I was right. It's it's every bit of probably 10 feet up. Rattlesnakes ought to be coming out pretty soon. I've never seen one alive in my life. In the wild, that is. Never seen one yet. I'm, I will. As long as I stay alive for a while yet, I will find one. I'm fascinated with vipers. Wow, that is cool. And... Not to leave you wanting for more. Look at this ginormous stone right here. Look at this thing. You know, you wonder, like, I, I've had people more in the know than me on this property. Foresters, biologists, and such. And, and basically they say this was underwater at some point in time. And that's how a lot of this stuff formed. But look at the size of this thing. You know, and it's it's almost like it's, I can't tell if it's connected. It's almost like it's just sitting on its own. Maybe it slid, maybe it broke off of there and, and slid down the hill. I bet you that's what happened. Let's take a closer look. Well, maybe not. I can't tell if it's connected right there or if it's sitting on top of that one coming off of the hill there. But how cool is that, man? I just got to touch it. You know, like you Star Trek fans, like Picard, when he he had to touch the, the first launch, the first contact, when he actually touched the, the rocket that, uh, well, I'll think of his name in a minute, the first contact pilot, crazy guy. 
not unlike myself a little bit. But you just think of all the, what this thing has seen and heard over the centuries, millennial, wow. So just a sidetrack, I'm like a kid, I get sidetracked, but I figured some of you guys would like it. Now time to go back and pick some more roots and rocks from the new ninja plot. Oh, which brings me to another point here. This, this ridge right here, this is where Curtis and I were working. He found some trails here and I have not even used this part of the property yet. So what we did where he found these trails because he said that bucks like to bed more on the tops than the bottoms, which I thought they liked the bottoms a little bit more. But so that's where I was doing TSI. So him and I took this ridge and just went shh for at least a couple 300 yards and thinned out the trees so it can get more sunlight. So down here, it'll just make it even more thick for the travel. And then guess what? Boom, there's a little food right there. Now I just gotta put some water in and I'll be golden. Here's just a real quick look of beneath that food plot to show that it's up on that rock shelf there. And I just found a new trail, well, another trail here. The deer are walking this ridge and they're shooting right up there. I'm not sure if you could see it, but it's clear to me. Right up there, that's one of the ways they're getting up top. Well, I'm hoping they're gonna get up top back here a little. As long as they visit me in the clover plot this fall, that'll be all right. But here is below that plot here. 